I know what you're thinking. 2011. What is he doing? Man. Sometimes, sometimes you got to reach back. I feel like. No, you're also like, what is he doing? Is I'm looking for my hip. Sometimes you got to reach back and maybe play something that you haven't played in a while, but you kind of been missing. And I've been looking for this game for some strange reason. I don't know why, but I have been. Fight night. <laughs> it's so weird. Oh, man. He caught you with one there, huh? It's okay. I don't know if I'm good at this game, bad. I don't remember. I just remember loving it. This is boxing after all. It doesn't matter that you got knocked down. You can get him back in the next round. You did the right thing, though. You took your time and you got back up. Your father would be proud of you. That's what champions do, Andre. They get back up. Yeah. Andre. So I don't know. I won't remember how this game even works. What's up? All right, we in jail. That's a good one. Yeah, oh, I remember a little bit. It's, ooh, it's coming back a little bit. What is that? Ammonia. That shit will wake you right up. What did he hit me with? <laughs> His head. Mmm, cheap shot. <laughs> He's a penitentiary, son. That rip ain't gonna do shit but count somebody out, which means you got to knock that cracker on his oh. ass. Yep. And you got one round. Knock the fucker on his ass. This look good, man. Xbox 360 towards the end of the generation a little bit. Hey. I think it's not that close. All right. Here we go. Get this jab going. RT to block. I don't remember how to block up and down, though. That's hard to take in while I'm trying to do some work here. Oh. Yeah, I kind of I do the sticks. Good happen in the shower. Oh Lord. Congratulations on your victory, boy. Boy. You look real good out there. Oh! <laughs> well, really, 
fucking impressed. Yeah, take all three of y'all. Come on now. Welcome to the real world, baby! <laughs> Nighty night, bitch. Nighty night. I don't want to die in prison. Try to talk. Let's take it easy now. You're lucky they left you breathing. I wasn't always this lucky. This Cuban is no amateur. He could have turned pro years ago. He's been the amateur champ for nine years. Nine years, are you gonna let him make it ten? No. That's right. That's why we no. need to get the gold medal. Now go get him, kid. All right. Remember. So here we go with round number one. Andre Bishop really attempting to climb a mountain that nobody's been able to scale so far here in the World Amateur Games over the course of nearly a decade. The fine Cuban, Joel Savone, nine straight years as the gold medalist in these World Amateur Games. All right, all right, staying clean, staying clean. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. Bishop's right hand working well that time. He scored well. Keep that up. Teddy, typically in a fight like this, when we have a power puncher against a real high stamina, well-conditioned fighter, what adjustments do you usually see? Well, one of the adjustments is on the side of the power puncher. You got a counter punch, baby. Out, yes. Stop looking for home runs. Stop swinging for the fences. He may oh, have yeah. to Wrap me up. adjust his game ways using the jab more. Looking for singles and doubles, not just that big one over the fence. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. I knew how I was doing. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory oh, tonight. Is that 48 down there? Is that a little give and take? And here comes the left hand. Phenomenal pace being set here. They are burning it up early on. Let's find out who's in better shape. We're gonna see. Solid left okay. hand Ooh, to the head. Look at cover up, cover up. That's a razor sharp uppercut by Andre Bishop. Savone's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. Ooh, I let him get some back. I let him get some back there. I let him get some back. Nice, nice. Keep those hands busy just like that. I want to see another round. Hmm. Here we go, round two is underway. I don't think it's a stretch to say that Andre Bishop actually has a strong lead against Joel Savone. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Andre Bishop. Trying to stay out the corner. I see it. I Comes right back at him with a left hand. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Accurate with the straight left. Andre Bishop is not showing the reserve of energy that we're used to seeing with him. Yeah, you just wonder if he was a little overconfident coming into this oh, fight. Did me? not prepare properly. Didn't do all his work in the gym. I look tired. Bishop's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then go. Oh, no. Actually, I would say a little counterpunching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Bishop's doing really well on the outside, utilizing his jab. I mean, I figure with no sports going on. Oh, no. Oh, I'm panic boxing. I'm panic boxing. Panicking.
return fire that time. Okay, okay, okay. Little, put a little combo together. Uh-oh. Oh, How snap. about a return to sender with the left hand? Just 10 seconds to go here in the Hell, second round. Jeez. It's only been two minutes. It feels like it's been a five-minute round. And a board. Up top oh, with no. the right hand. All right, 101, 82. Okay, 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 that okay. good round for Andre Bishop. He just went out there and controlled everything. And he did it fundamentally, too. He used the jab. He set up the body attack. He did it like a good, solid fighter. You're in control, Andre. And moving. All right. And round number three is underway. Very nice, consistent offensive attack from Andre Bishop against the nine-time World Amateur Games titles. Smart Shoot. punch right there. The uppercut worked. To the head he goes with a left hand. Savone's failure to protect himself from that left hand, it's become a big story. I don't know if I'm going to be able to knock yeah, this guy he down. Ooh. understand why. He's not controlling distance. He's standing too close in front. Needs to adjust a little further out. Bishop's putting forth that hard work right. he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Keep moving. Keep moving. Ah. Ah. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Hey, you gotta see that coming. Let's go. Left to the body. Okay. I'm only ahead by a little bit now. Uh. Nice strike after catching one by Andre Bishop. That's a forceful right, two-punch right. combo by Andre Bishop. Oh, no. Good-looking right hand after he got hit. There's a jab by Joel Savone. Okay, 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 okay. Up by what, 17, something like that? What an excellent oh, no. punch combo by Andre Bishop. And now he brings the left nice hand work. upstairs. <laughs> Andre oh, Bishop is winning. I'm stressed fight. out. How many times have you seen Joel Savone in a hole like this? He's got to climb out of that All abyss. Right. I don't know why I'm even listening to all that. All right, here we go. Up by 19. They meet up one more time. The last round has arrived. The young upstart Andre Bishop is on his way to a sensational upset and claiming that World Amateur Games title. Unless he knocks me out somehow. All right, up by 20. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Andre Bishop. We overheard the corner of Andre Bishop earlier saying to look for the uppercut. That time, he found it, he saw it, he gave it. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces them into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. He covered up a lot. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. He's fighting, but instead he's hugging. Clean shot, oh no! Fire. Oh no! Well oh no! By Andre Bishop, carries that punch away. Little head hunting with the left. Bishop's opponent is saying to himself, "I can't believe this. Every time this guy throws, it seems like he lands. He's very judicious with it." Oh no! Yeah, and that's not by accident. You know, that's his temperament. He has that kind of temperament. If you went out with the guy, you talk to the guy. You know. He thinks before he says things. He doesn't just, you know, let his mouth go. He doesn't just let his hands go. He lets them go oh, no. when he thinks he should. Good job on the two. All right, all right, all right. I lost a couple there. Andre Bishop. 
A well-placed left hand up top. Oh. So two guys who everybody thought had no I chance of hearing the final hear bell to hit now the wait for the judges score. Heavy punch. Uh, explosions early on, but later on, just a little tap dance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fighter of the games. It's terrific, honestly. Being voted fighter of yeah, the games. Yeah, baby. It's an honor. <laughs> Gold medal, baby. Yes. Uh, this is my baby brother, my big baby brother, Ray. Hey, big baby bishop. I'm a fighter too, and one day I'm gonna be right where he <laughs> is now. <laughs> like I was saying, it's a lot of talented boxers out here, and it's an honor hey, just being. Hey, bishop brothers are in the house. Big baby bishop. What? It was a fabulous tournament. Truly exciting to watch. Oh, Ivan yeah, Drago. The Queen Promotions. Is pleased to announce that we've just added Isaac Frost to our roster of boxing talent. Isaac, are you disappointed that Andre Bishop won Fighter of the Games? Disappointed? <laughs> I'm the heavyweight gold medalist. No one went the distance with me. Nobody here could ever go the distance with me. I am the best fighter at these games. Period. Andre Bishop is a talented middleweight, but I, I think uh, Isaac makes a good point. Regardless. Both these young men could have very bright futures in professional boxing. Yeah, we talk about difference, difference in, in weight class even. All right, what am I doing here? Okay, let's keep it simple. Stick to the basics. Right, not down sparring partner for the end of the round. Oh, you have to, uh, oh, okay. You can't combo together the heavy part. Come on now. Come on, kid. Side to side. Faster. I want to see some speed. Knock him out? I don't know about that. Keep those elbows in. Come on. Explode those shoulders. If you can't last here, you last in the ring. Get a good snack of those shoulders. Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo -hoo -hoo. Ooh, up through the guard. <laughs> Shake his face off. Mm. Huh. You okay? Beautiful. Oh, I got it. You got your father's power. He certainly does. His father hit like a heavy. Oh, here weight comes too. this joke. <laughs> Gus, <laughs> despite our differences, I've always said you're one of the best trainers in the business. I don't care what you say about me, Queen. <laughs> always nice to see you, Megan. Always nice to see you too, Gus. I'm bringing my daughter into the business. You know how good she is with fighters. I want her to manage Andre. You're a great trainer. Why not concentrate on what you do best and let Megan and I concentrate on Andre's career? Thanks, but I think I can handle it. Isaac Frost will be fighting for a title within two years. I can do that for you, too. Thanks, but I can handle it. Did this old man ever get your father a title shot? He was on his way! The only way to the title is through me! Not if nobody can beat me. Oh, you think so? Mm. You don't know who you are. Oh. Dad! You've been listening to this stupid oh. old man! Dad! You don't know who you're fucking with! Attitude and a mouth. I apologize. No, you have no reason to apologize. But your father, on the other hand, he chews fighters up and he spits them out. Gus, if we just... Megan, you're a good egg. But no way are we getting in bed with D.L. McQueen. I respect your decision. Lucius Palmer likes to run, but he'll get aggressive at the end of each round. He's good at stealing fights. Good luck, Andre. All right, Megan. <laughs> I mean, let's not, Gus, let's That's not, me. come on, Gus. Gus, come on, Gus. She's right about Palmer. 
She's a smart girl, that Megan. As long as it's not, you know what I'm saying, the baby in the bath water, you know what I'm saying? We can't be throwing out everybody just because, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Gus. Come on, Gus. So stupid. What a night of boxing. This is Xbox 360, man. I mean, that audience looked terrible, but you know what I'm saying? Joe Tessitore alongside my All right, here we go. Partner, Teddy Atlas. So much to talk about tonight on this card. The thing that interests me and so many of you out there is the pro debut of Andre Bishop. The much talked about middleweight prospect will be debuting against Lucius Palmer, a veteran uh -huh. who looks to give him a test. Come on now. All right. Running, he's not even matchup in front of us tonight, Teddy. A power puncher against a guy who's very well conditioned. Now, early on in the fight, what do you look for out of the power puncher to take his power? You know, it's not just power, it's where you distribute that power. If I'm in the corner of the power guy, I want to distribute it downstairs to the body. Yeah, no better way to sap somebody's there. endurance mentally and physically than going downstairs. Andre Bishop's right hand scores well that time. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Andre Bishop. That was crazy. I, I, I love boxing now, in real life. Says, right back with the left hand. Good flush shot upstairs. Oh. Hey, hey, the other day go. when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good oh, one there. Oh, snap. He catch him. Little head he catch him. with that right hand. Woo! Oh, this is going to be That left he may be able uppercut to again the with the power button down held down. down. Oh, Lord. It. Good golly, Miss Molly. And a one. One, two, three, four, five. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives uh -oh. is if he's been taught, have good habits, have good fundamentals. You got long reach, man. Shoot. You're going to find out right now. You catch me a little bit. You catch right me, you catch me. That was an he got a long reach on him. For Andre Bishop, the American making his pro debut here. Teddy, Lucius Palmer's the kind of guy that could give a young up-and-comer like Bishop some issues. He likes to steal the end parts of a round, kind of like Ray Lennon did against Marvin Hagler. Has to be careful for that. Palmer's out there for another round after being knocked down in the last round. Come on now. We know what happens in the 60 seconds with a fighter who was damaged, but what about those 60 seconds in the opposing corner, Teddy? You know, Joe, that's a great question. And I remember my mentor, Customato, when we were training fighters, he used to always say, look, you know you're a banger, and this guy All has right. to be a banger. Well, if you hit a guy clean, you know you hurt him. But he's not going to show you. He's going to act like a pro. He's going to con you. He's going to act like that didn't hurt him. But you have to remember, hey, it hurt him. So go after him like he's showing. All right, all right, all right. Not showing it. Wow, what Ooh. an uppercut. Come on, cover up. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Get off me. Just wasting everybody's time. Yeah, everybody's time. My time, your time. Ah. Let's do some more head moves. I like the angle that Andre Bishop just gave us right there. His opponent didn't like the result. He just ate an uppercut. All right. Come steal this round, homie. Come on. Right to the body. Get off me. He clinches when he gets to the inside. And here we go again as Lucius Palmer tries to steal this round against Andre Bishop. Palmer's right hand scores. Man, I'm missing. Great. Scores up top with a left. Targeting that head with the combination punching. That's great. Dang it. Stuff. He fires one right I didn't counter punch as well at the end of that one. Oh, only four rounds. Andre Bishop. Right hand downstairs. Smart move by Lucius Palmer there, able to block that punch. 
Yeah, come on. Come on now. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Palmer's feeling the sting oh, no. of that big oh, no. uppercut. Bishop's putting forth a great combination there. A clean, crisp right hand by Andre Bishop. <laughs> clean, crisp hand by Andre Bishop. Coming to the halfway point of this third It's got to be hard to do all the, get the VO completely flawless. And they're really good. The Andre VO is Bishop really good on this game. Knack for that. I love the way Andre will look for that uppercut and then deliver it. Him to the trying. Come on. Palmer's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. you got to block those punches away. Excellent one-two by Palmer. There's the hook by Andre Bishop. That was well scored. You know, Bishop's opponent has set a pretty good pace here tonight, and I don't think Bishop has reacted well to it. He's fading a bit. Yeah, he's got his mouth open a little bit. There's two problems there. One, you're telling your opponent, I'm tired. The other is you have your mouth open. That's a loose joint now. You get hit on the jaw, you can get a broken jaw. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Come on, baby. Come on. If I lose this fight, I'll be so frustrated. Kind of tonight by Andre Bishop, and you completely understand why his trainer, Gus Carisi, says the things he says about him. Yeah, Come on. you understand why he thinks he will be a star. Not just a champion, but a guy who will draw crowds. And I'm not surprised, or at least I wouldn't be surprised, if he's not in the corner right now telling him, Go out there and close the show. Bishop's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see on the now. accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? Yeah, boo him. Blocks it away. Get off me. Now hugging on the inside. Good block by Palmer. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Bishop's throwing a lot of punches right here, but not a lot of them are landing. And that can be very discouraging to the guy who's throwing them because he's working, but he's starting to get a little frustrated, a little concerned that he's not doing damage, as you said. Time is of the essence now. We've reached the halfway point of this final round. Yep, yep. Come on now. Final minute of this final round of this fight. There he is working the body. A solid true uppercut by Palmer. Palmer's got to deal with a cut cheek. Bishop's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Big, big shot comes crashing. That uppercut, home. baby. Oh, and he goes yeah. down again. The question is, can he bye 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 Huh? Huh? Oh, walking like a dog out here. Start your career as if the buzz isn't big enough for Andre Bishop. This will put fuel on that fire. He gets rid of Lucius Palmer. Impressive stuff. Back here oh, Fight Studios. I'm Brian Kenny. Full and motion video. Andre Bishop taking his first steps as a pro this past okay. weekend on the undercard of the you. Aragon Ballroom in Chicago. Bishop beating former welterweight contender Lucius Palmer en route to his first pro. Okay. Win. Now, we've seen Palmer before here on ESPN. He's a veteran. He's no joke. And Bishop is now considered to be one of the best prospects boxing has seen in Ooh. decades. By beating a fighter the caliber of Palmer in his pro debut, no less, he definitely made a statement. Andre Bishop clearly a fighter okay. to watch. In other news, heavyweight prospect Isaac Frost scoring the second Ooh, knockout of his pro career, beating another overmatched opponent on the oh, Eyes McGee pay-per-view in Las Vegas. He's now 2-0 with two KOs.
I might have to go up, up, oh. The right side of the screen, trade heavy back, throw punches, use head movement, footwork, complete combination. Okay. Okay. I don't believe okay. in building a record fight in nobody's. Okay. You don't learn anything against guys like that except how to make oh, mistakes. Man. We ain't here to do anything stupid. This ain't the amateurs. You got a chance to do something yeah. great. To be someone great. And I'm gonna help you get there. Okay, okay. You wanna take some fights against these guys. And I want you to show me that you got what it takes. Because if you can stop these guys, I'm gonna be impressed. But if you can't at least put them on the canvas, I'm gonna be disappointed. On the canvas? Got a I don't kid. know how fast I, I can go I wanna see these guys on the floor. Nice work, okay. Good. Hopefully that, did that the do something? The time has come. All the talk is done. Now the fight is set to begin. <sighs> There's Andre Bishop in the locker room, Teddy, with his longtime trainer, Gus Carisi. Of course, Gus was one who very early on tapped Andre Bishop as a fighter to watch. He said he was full of potential. Yes, he was a tremendous amateur. He won the World Championship Tournament. From the State Palace Teddy here Alice. in New Orleans. <laughs> These guys are doing great, man. Joe Tessitore, is that who that is? Main event. I mean, those guys still do it. It's amazing. Bout between it. Andre Bishop and Mike Ward. We need another one of these games. I had to go back. I'm sorry. It is now time right, for our Let's main event for the fight. State Touch Palace him up. Let's Theater go. here Let's in New Orleans. I ain't getting no tip on this guy. Andre Bishop and Mike Walker. At least twice. To square off to the official introductions, we send it up to the ring. Stay away from me. Really solid left hand by Andre Bishop. That's exactly what his corner wants Ooh. him to do. Well, a lot of people were looking forward to this fight, and with very good reason. When you pit these two guys together, it should be a very good fight. You don't have to look for either one of them. They are right there to be found, and our fans love that. Oh, snap. And that had some bite to it, that right hand by Walker. Yeah, Andre Bishop's known as a guy who isn't going to be bashful early on. He has power, and he's not afraid to showcase it. Yeah, but that's not all that this business is about. My mentor, Customato, used to say, hey, you know, power is just part of it. We should do a, a drinking like game where every time weapon. he says Customato, you, know, you, you got to take a need shot. a missile to get it there. Alone, all it does is make a hole in the ground. Otherwise, it has no real use. You have to have a way to get it to the target. Let's see if he has that way. Takes one to give one. Uppercut in return. Firing off the uppercuts. Great exchange. You see what happens when he gets ah, the uppercut. Look at that. Great work there. Dang it. I felt that coming. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Jab. Oh, no. Great classic combination. Targeting that belt line with the right hand. Rock'em, sock'em, robots right from the start here, Teddy. No defense, just pure offense. Ooh. And what a clever combination by Andre Bishop. He's showing ah. what a skilled fighter he is with this counterpunching. Targeting a left hand to the body. And now he scores well with a straight right. Okay. Well, we've had the pleasure of the other guy's face Andre busted up at all. My eye looks a little swollen up. Now the young unbeaten expected to really shine against Mike Walker here. Yeah, but one of the things that could be a variable that could surprise somebody a little bit, you prepare for a man's skill, but you're not always sure about his weak. And that's something that might show itself before this night is over. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? I'm taking some shots, man. Nice, sharp, fundamentally sound hook right there, and it served him well. Oh, no. And now he's targeting Ooh, I was wide open. Nice one-two by Walker. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Oh, no. Good biting, snapping shot by Andre Bishop. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. 
Solid effort by Mike Walker. We overheard the corner of Andre Bishop earlier saying to look for the uppercut. That Mike Walker's crushed by a player. Okay, okay, okay. Got a little blood on him. Went down with a body shot. That's promising. Ooh. A couple more crunches. <laughs> Sound like Mortal Kombat up with that bug. But he's going to continue on, beating the count. Walker so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. The final minute of a round that feels like 30 minutes, not three minutes. And this is the kind of fight where you just don't want to have a loser. They're both winners. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counterpuncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. And now committing to that midsection as the target with the combination punching. Oh, no. Oh, Gabe. Last 10 seconds. Oh, Gabe. I'm holding the wrong button down. I already won that round. I don't know why I feel like I need to push it. Okay. He's looking struggling. Don't the building that left side. A lot right. to look forward to the rest of this fight now. Or his right side. Confidence gives him a little momentum, and it also shows you his amateur background. I mean, he showed you that he can do things inside and outside. Hundreds of amateur fights will teach you that. Good counter punch. Super two punch combo by Walker. Yikes, Gabe. Oh, can't believe I missed that jump. This is not a good sign for Andre Bishop. It appears that he's slowing. Walker's cracked by a right hand. Okay, 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 okay. This is going to take some guts to get up from this. Once again, he goes down. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. One, two. Please stay down. Three, Please. Four. Down he goes. Now up he gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's going to have to grab on. Kill a little time. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Andre awesome. Bishop. Mike Walker's bang by an uppercut. Good looking uppercut that time. Oh, no. Good combination nice. to the head. Walker's eye is really a mess now due to that cut. Now, if you're his opponent, it's got to be the primary target, I assume. You know, and that's the key word, assume. And a, oh. lot of people, a lot of fans... Man, after that, that grab, I thought I was putting him down. Bop, bop, bop. Bop, bop, bop. But I don't uh, bop, bop, bop. That Because now, all of a sudden, you throw yourself off a little bit. All right. Come on, now. Let's finish this thing off. That exact spot. Instead of just fighting your fight, instead of just letting yeah. the jab go in the general direction of the head, set up the other punches. You don't want to get carried away for looking to pinpoint that exact spot. Teddy, what's the one thing that shows you? Ooh, wait. Walker! Little combo. Uh. That punch, uh. This fight could soon be over. Oh. That little blood. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Please stay down. Yes. I hope he's all right. Bless you and your family. Sorry, buddy. Hey. I was on my baby way. brother. And baby brother was making his mark as an amateur. Gus had been our father's trainer. He All took right. us in after our parents died. Good. Keep that champ going.
Oh, the daddy was dark skinned. Yeah, I tell you what, playing this on the Xbox One X, these load screens are way faster than they would. Can and Wilfred Rosario and do what Mike Walker and playing from a hard drive were unable to do? Andre Bishop now two and zero in his career. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas with you ringside here at the State Palace Theater in New Orleans to see if the young upstart can make it three in a row. All right. All right, I don't actually care that much. Come on. Here we go. Round number one, scheduled for six. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Andre Bishop. Lands that hook to the midsection. The big hook comes in right underneath the elbow. Rosario's corner is concerned. The Get off me. Go down here. Get off me. Big puncher here in front of us, going up against a guy who can do a little bit of everything. Boxer, puncher, well-skilled, good athlete, well-conditioned. Yeah, the big punch, I think, is going to be in trouble, especially oh. as the fight goes late. He's going to get more and more desperate, and he's going to look for that one bomb. And usually when you know it's coming, you can avoid it. How about that exchange? Back up, back up. Nice strike after catching one by Rosario. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. Dang it. He landed a good one there. Rosario's able to land a good, solid left hand. Bishop's landed a good, solid combination. Nice work, the left hand. Come on now. Red hot action to open up this fight. Both men throwing, both men landing. It's been a long time since I've seen something like this. I think it was in a film library. Watchman hammering Hank, the great Henry Armstrong. Never took a step backwards, kept going forward. Solid straight right hand. Oh, we. Mario's left, working well that time. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. What the old timers want to see combination punching by Andre okay Bishop. okay i thought i had that for a second so the young unbeaten andre bishop right. gets another one of these opponents who his trainer gus carisi feels very confident that they can shine against well his brain trust is very smart it's not enough for him to be only efficient as a fighter they want him to be exciting because the model my mentor he created the pick -bull style and there was a reason for that you keep your hands up you move forward you move your head and you're going to be efficient but also it's an exciting style and that means people are going to want to watch Ooh. you. What's that mean? You're going to get paid. And that's what Carisi wants. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Rosario. What impact from that uppercut by Andre Bishop. Whoa. Oh, and Whoa. Oh, and he whip, 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 whip. E, 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 ah, ah. You got to work it up. That was nice looking if I can say so myself. Come on, man. Just uh. hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down. Now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare. It's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy. If you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on. You move your head. You survive. Oh. Good job. It was sudden. It was fast. It was direct by Andre Bishop. <laughs> by Andre Bishop. A headshot blocked. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Ooh, that's faint. Oh, oh well great. Place. Gutsy uppercut after being tagged. Southpaw right jab, then the left hand. Ah. Shot returning fire. Well done by Rosario. Hey, How about that left hand? A battering hook by Rosario. Uh, 
I, 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 I. And that's the end of round two. Let go. Might as well be some steak, okay? I want to okay. that on a hook. That eye's jacked up. A new round underway here. Rosario's hoping that he doesn't make a defensive flaw like he did in the last round. That cost him a knockdown. See, that's where another set of eyes come in. That's where you depend on your corner. They're calm enough. They can see something that you didn't see, as hopefully the corner has told him what he did wrong. Bishop's jab is now carrying this fight for him from Off the outside. Me. Yeah, because the jab is carrying the fight. You know, it all starts with that jab. And right now, that jab is leading the way. Zoning in on that gut. Combination punch downstairs. There's that overhand right. You know, there's a lot to like with Andre Bishop, but right now, ah. I don't like the way he looks Under in terms attack. of his conditioning. Well, he looks like he's slowing down a little bit, and you got to wonder if it's a little mental, too. He got a little discouraged that his opponent is still there. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Yes, oh, let's go. He goes down thanks to a swarming attack. He got caught up in a mixer blade there. Oh, look at the way the skin does. That's Xbox 360, Bishop. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come on, man. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Don't worry about it. I kept winning fights. I got people's attention. How would I make it? My father told me to find out what it'll take to make you change your mind about working with us. It's easy. Yeah? Yeah. All you gotta do is change Gus's mind. What's <laughs> that all? <laughs> you don't have a say in this? Sure I do. Say, Gus, I'm a manager. And I guess I'm gonna have to change Gus's mind. Good luck with that. Thanks. No problem. Oh, by the way, I was by Keyshawn Hayes' camp the other day. His trainer thinks you're a sucker for the left hook. Keyshawn says he's dropping you with it. Yeah? Well, Keyshawn Hayes entitled his own opinion, isn't he? Bye, Megan. All right. Left hook, huh? Left hook. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the best looking middleweight prospects in some time. <laughs> this guy's got a mean left hook. He's going to try and catch him in the Yeah, I heard about that. I'm a little worried that they had that little movie right there. Does that mean something silly is about to happen? Here we go, round Whoa. number one, scheduled okay. for six. Yes. That's a left hook, all right. We expect a high work rate among these two fighters. Now, do you want to see that same work rate throughout the whole fight? Is you, or Is that your expectation? I'd love to because we'd be having a good time and our fans, they're going to enjoy it. Hayes has got a cut, and it looks like it's below the eye on the cheek, but it's something that needs well, to be good. monitored. Nice and early. Blocks that belt line well. Andre Bishop's defense now dazzling as Hayes is having trouble landing that left hook. Yeah. Yeah, that one. Ooh. Can you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head? Yeah, off me. He ties up on the inside. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. I feel like they're trying to bait me into getting hit by that left hand. Blocks the headshot. It'll be interesting to see how this plays out from here. Hayes' cut is now changing the course of this fight. Well, the fighter's been trying to do his job. Now the corner man, this is the most important person right now in that ring. He has to do his job and stop that bleeding. I don't see where it's at. Ooh. 
What? Andre Bishop rocked by that power punch. Bishop is Oh, the left hook. It was right. It was right about that. Dang it. Call it a brother. So he was knocked down, but Andre Bishop is proving that he doesn't want to be knocked out tonight. Come on, stay away from those. Come on, man. A nice block by Andre Bishop. Dang it. Oh, shoot. Here we go. Round two is underway. Hayes is rocked by a huge hook to the head. You see the movement by Andre Missed Bishop, all them it's really paying off. Able to avoid that left hook of Hayes. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. And now targeting his opponent with the overhand right. The combination punching now scoring well by Andre Bishop. Good way to protect the midsection. Flush right hand to the head. That's and right like from the start, see. he's throwing the power punches and landing them. I think he has a date and he wants to get to it. Oh. I need to get away from that. Yeesh, yeesh. Yikes, yikes. Uh. Catch him. Oh, Lord. Scores with the combo to the head. Yikes! Look out for that. Yeesh. Oh. Oh, and they decide to trade there. Oh, a good right hand by Andre Bishop. All right. Andre Bishop showing his superiority in that last round. That was an easy three minutes for him, and he's got momentum. All right, so here's the problem, though. He knocked me down in the first round. He has good ability. He gonna catch me with that left hook again, I bet. But he also has the technique. That is the car that's gonna drive the ability to where he wants to go. Bishop's ability to utilize this jab, fighting on the outside, has been so cool. Oh, no! What a turnaround! You never know what's going to happen in this game. I don't know how to. I don't know how to grab. Anything for granted. Never assume anything. They tell you that in life. In the ring, you get taught that real fast. He got caught by a big shot. What guts by Andre Bishop to survive that and now to move on. Andre Bishop, beautiful head movement, good lateral movement, getting out of the way of that dangerous left hook of Hayes. All right. Cannot put this joker down. It seems to me that Bishop is right now uncomfortable with the pace that's being set in this fight. Well, he started the pace. See, that's the funny thing about it. He said it, but he might not be able to keep it up. Bishop's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. <laughs> oh, Lord. Good work defensively by Hayes. Oh, Lord. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. Andre Bishop's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Shoot. Shoot. This is not feeling good. Andre Bishop getting back to basics landing that right hand. Oh, Lord. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunity. Oh, Lord. He's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Bishop's doing well, sticking to a game plan on the outside. Oh. And that's the end of round I mean, three. my face looks all right, but I also was wobbly. I make a wobble wobble. 
Oh, man. I'm exhausted. Here we go with the fourth round. Bishop's dominance in the uh -oh. first half of this fight was pronounced. Now, as this round begins, a new task for him. Finish up the second half of this fight just as strong. Yeah, that's a good point, Joe. His enemy is not only the guy in front of him, but it's being that he's got such a lead. You know, his enemy is having such great on me. success so far. Does it get him a little bit into a lull? If he gets into a low now, he could blow that first half of the fight, what he's done so well. Oh, Lord. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh! Good defense turns into better offense for Andre Bishop that time. Oh, man, all oh, that mess. Way through this round. Hayes is doing a poor job. There's no other way to really say it. I mean, he's sitting there trying to stay committed to being a counterpuncher. But in the meantime, the fight is... Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Thank you, Jesus. Solid. Thank you, God. What a turnaround. He scores his own knockdown after being oh. knocked down earlier. And that's where scoring a knockdown hurts you sometimes. Thank you. Now you think you're just going to walk in and get it again. Well, he walked in. He did get it. He got it. Oh, oh Gabe. Smart boxing here. Good effective work with the counter punch by Andre Bishop. Oh, see? That's a big flush punch landing on Andre Bishop. This is not the first time that Andre Bishop has been brought to this neighborhood. So when you get hit like that, you can't duck back like that. You can't do that when both those things go red like that. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Oh. Stay away from the power. All right. Circling away from that we got power. cuts on both sides. I need you to keep moving side to side. Eyes swollen shut. I can't. Jeez, Luis. Come on. Bishop's recovered nicely here. The start of this round, and he is proving to me at least that what happened in that last round is having no effect on this round. is throwing lots of punches and not many are landing but what's that old saying hey you put enough out there something's gonna stick well at least he's controlling the rhythm he's keeping control of the pace right now and at least when you're throwing uh -oh. your opponent for the most part he's being handcuffed a little bit that's great stuff he fires one Ooh, right come on. big shot the left crashed home yeah big, big shot let's go Oh, and I thought I was going to lose this fight. Test. I mean, I can still lose. But. Get up after going down a second time. <laughs> Rumble all the way through his body. Yeah. Please stay down. Please. Please. Oh, doggone it. Hayes is back up. But is he back in the fight? We're going to find out in a second whether or not he moves his head. Now, if he just stands there straight and you're the trainer, you better get up on those steps and stop it. He's not right. Come on now. Come on now. Whoa. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Give and take, and here comes the left hand. Minute 23. He got hit right there, but he... Oh, too far away. Going. What are you doing? Solid effort by Andre Bishop. Oh, a damaging left hook by Keith Sean Hayes gets to Andre Bishop. Good right hand by Andre Bishop. Woo, woo, woo. Wow. Unbelievable. Just the barrage continues. He's knocked down again. But his desire okay. is just as strong as it no, was. I don't want to hear all that. Stay down. Stay down. One, two, three, four. Come on now. Yeah. Oh, no, never looked so good. A knockout win. Andre Bishop over Keyshawn Hayes. All right. Thank you, God. Brian Kenny back here in our Friday Night Fight studios. We have an update on the career of rising star Andre Bishop.
And while he certainly hasn't taken an easy road so far, I wonder if that's career, actual. Bishop is poised to have his coming out party against top 15 middleweight contender Ricardo Alvarez, something virtually unheard of for a prospect with so few pro fights. What's more, the fight will take place in Alvarez's hometown of Chicago, although we can't expect a few fans to make the trip from Philly. A few, thank you. All right, what you talking about? What can I do for you, Mr. Yeah, Mr. McQueen? McQueen? Andre, I have to tell you something about your father. I'm going to bring my Before daddy into died, this. He and I agreed to a deal. I was going to get him a title shot and let Gus stay on as his manager. Sadly, he never got a chance to tell Gus about it. Yeah, I bet. I'll give you the same deal. Keep Gus as your trainer and manager. I'll promote your fights. Megan's young. She's got other fighters. And think about your brother. What about yeah. Brother? Raymond's got talent. Not your kind of talent, but <laughs> he's big. You see how big he is? He could be heavyweight champ someday. Isaac Frost looks unbeatable now. Ah, who knows? Oh, he's talking all that gang. Mm. He's smart, Andre. Let me take you and Raymond to the top. Look, Mr. McQueen. I don't appreciate you talking about my father or trying to get me to go behind Gus's back. Stay away from my brother and stay away from me. Are we clear? You have no idea who you're fucking oh, snap. with, kid. Cussing at me. I knocked this guy, man. Let's go take it to the ring. Oh, good luck with Alvarez. But I got a feeling it's not going to be your night. 